the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 268, Zechariah 1-6 Only through the Holy Spirit's power, saying that God himself would become a stronghold to those who were faced with hopeless reality, God gave them hope and vision. First point. Two months after sending Haggai, God sent prophet Zechariah also to the temple reconstruction generation. God spoke to the prophet Zechariah. God first spoke to Haggai during the second year of King Darius's reign, on the first day of the six months, and then God spoke to Zechariah during the second year of King Darius on the eighth month. And so we can see that it was about two months after Haggai. Through Zechariah, God told the people to reflect back on the sins of their ancestors. As they had sinned extensively, they received the third step of punishment, which was captivity, as recorded in Leviticus 26, verse 21. And now God told Zechariah to tell the people how they were to live from now on. God stressed that he was the God of all nations three times, and he also stressed that they were to return to him. Three months since God's message to Zechariah, God showed Zechariah eight visions. The reason God showed these visions was in order to reveal how God would restore the people and also Zion. The first five visions symbolized consolation, and the remaining three symbolized judgment. Regarding the first five symbols, the first was a man among the myrtle trees. The second was the four horns and four craftsmen. The third was the man with a measuring line. The fourth was the clean garment for the high priest. And the fifth was the gold lampstand and the two olive trees. The next the three visions symbolized the judgment and they were the flying scroll, the woman in the basket, and four chariots. The first consoling vision was the man among the mortal tree, and when Zechariah saw this, he questioned the man who replied. When God's angel told him that the 70 years had come to an end, the angel told this to Zechariah. God said that the 70 years of captivity was over, and that the people were to return to Jerusalem and restore their temple, and then God would bless them. Indeed, God provided them with warm consolation. The second vision Zechariah saw was the four horns and the four craftsmen, and this symbolized the judgment of the people who attacked South Judah. Second point, God showed visions to Zechariah in order to glorify Jerusalem. The third vision God showed Zechariah was a man with a measuring line. And this symbolized how God would restore Jerusalem and make them glorious again. God continued to speak about Jerusalem's restoration. God declared that Jerusalem would become full of people and animals and it would become a safe place. God would moreover be with them and dwell among them. This was all the more touching as back in the days of Jeremiah. God had said that he would leave them. The reality of Jerusalem at the point was still beautiful and desolate, but in the vision that Zechariah saw, Jerusalem had become immensely restored with God among them. God told them to rejoice as they and all nations would become God's people. This contained the message of the restored temple, as well as the coming of the Messiah and the kingdom of God. Third point, God purified the high priest Jeshua, Joshua from Satan. The fourth vision God showed to Zechariah was the clean garments for the priest. 
This symbolized how high priest Joshua would become cleansed. This was a vision of how Joshua had stopped building the temple and was dressed in unclean clothes. However, God was to purify him and he would be able to work again as God's high priest. God also spoke of the branch. Now Joshua would become clean and suitable to work for God again. Joshua would oversee God's temple and become a good influence to the people. First point, the fifth vision God gave to Zechariah symbolized the powers he would give to Jerubbabel and Joshua. Now God showed Zechariah the fifth vision. This vision was the gold lampstand and the two olive trees, and this symbolized how God would give powers to Jerubbabel and Joshua. In this vision, there was a solid gold lampstand with a bowl at the top and seven lamps on it, with seven channels to the lands. According to Israel's customs, when they raised the kings and priests, the oil was used for anointing, and this symbolized how the anointing came from God. God had particularly anointed Jerubbabel and Joshua. God showed this vision to Zechariah and told him to deliver this message. All in all, this was in order for the temple to be finalized. God told Jerubbabel to be in charge from beginning until the end for God's glory and joy. Thus, the vision of the two olive trees was for Jerubbabel and Joshua. Fifth point, as a sign to symbolize the coming of the Messiah, God crowned the high priest Joshua. The previous five visions symbolized consolation, and the next three visions symbolized judgment. Now God showed Zechariah the sixth vision, and this was the flying scroll. Indeed, this flying scroll symbolized God's judgment. God declared that he would curse the people for their sins, and in particular pointed out the sins of stealing and lying. God then showed Zechariah the seventh vision of the woman in the basket, and this symbolized how the nation's sins would become cleansed. A basket is used for collecting crops. When God judged an evil woman, she tried to escape from it. But then God covered the basket with a top, and this symbolized that God's judgment could not be reversed. However, God later moved the basket to Shina. Shina was the place that appeared in Genesis, the place which was full of evil and arrogance, and where the people had tried to raise the Babel Tower. This symbolized how God would judge the sins of South Judah and then move the judgment to Shina. This moreover showed that Jerusalem would be made holy. And now God showed Zechariah the final vision, the vision of the four chariots. And this showed that the whole world would be judged. The chariots ran towards the whole earth. God later crowned the high priest Joshua with the king's crown. This symbolized the coming of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Through these visions, God aimed to encourage the temple reconstruction generation who had become carefree about the fact that the temple restoration project had come to a halt. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.